Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Ashley from the blog Joyfully Growing and today I'm going to share with you three different gallery wall layouts with the sizes and everything you need to know on how to make a gallery wall on a blank wall in your home. I am so excited about today's video because I am working with Stockholm Art House. They have so many amazing prints and art to choose from if you're looking for stuff for your gallery wall. It's a great place to check out. I'll talk more about them later. But I picked six of my favorite prints that they have on their site and I'm going to show you three different ways to style a gallery wall, three different layouts using the same six prints. I've also included printable PDFs with each of the layouts that I'm going to share with you today that you can easily print at home and then have it right there for reference as you create your gallery wall at home. So check the description box below. I will leave a link there so that you can quickly print these easy free downloads to use for yourself. Before we jump in to the different layouts, I wanted to quickly run through a couple of do's and don'ts, a couple of rules of thumb to keep in mind when you are styling your gallery wall. So the first thing is you want to hang your gallery wall, no matter what layout you choose to do, you want to hang it at eye level. So that's approximately 60 inches from the floor that kind of gives you an idea obviously um, eye level is a little different depending on how tall you are uh, but usually 60 inches above the floor on the wall will look the best you want to take the center of your gallery wall so if you have a lot of prints in your gallery wall that's 60 inches from the center of the grouping of your frames another good rule of thumb to keep in mind is the spacing between your art you do not want to overcrowd your frames that is a quick way to make your gallery wall look look cluttered, look a little bit overwhelming and busy. So a good idea to keep in mind is around two to three inches in between your frames. It'll kind of depend on what layout you're going for the overall style, but that's a good place to start. Something else to keep in mind when you're hanging your gallery wall is have a general plan going into it. That's kind of what today's video is all about is giving you layouts that you can quickly use and just copy these exact templates. So I would recommend using one of these layouts I'm going to share or a different one you find on the internet, one that you like depending on how many frames you're using and then lay it out on the ground get a really good feel for what it looks like with the different artworks that you've chosen make sure the colors and all that are going to go together with the layout that you've chosen see it on the ground and then you're ready to hang it on the wall. Doing this, make sure that your overall layout and size and grouping is going to work for the space that you're using. Also, don't choose frames and artwork that is too small. You wanna make sure that you can clearly see the photo or the art that you're using, but also if you're using really teeny tiny frames in your gallery wall, it can start to look a little bit busy, a little bit overwhelming, and so it's better to err on the side of bigger. And so that is kind of what I've chosen for my sizes and prints that I'm using. In today's video, if you're in between sizes, definitely go up a size in frame and I think it'll look better overall. My last quick tip before we get into the layouts is think about your overall theme and what you are trying to achieve with this gallery wall, the overall style that you want. To also consider the room that you're putting your gallery wall in. Make sure that the prints that you're choosing go with the rest of the pieces and colors in your room. It's a good idea to choose a overall color theme across your artwork so that they all kind of go together. Um, even if you have a couple of contrasting colors it can be helpful to maybe choose the same frame throughout all of your artwork so that there's something that ties it all together um, of course do whatever you want what you think looks best but these are just some quick tips that you can keep in mind as you are choosing your artwork and frames and layouts for your gallery wall at home all right let's jump into my three layouts using the same six prints that i have chosen from stockholm art house all right, we're gonna start with the easiest one. Uh, this is very simple, symmetrical, easy to achieve. The biggest thing here is you want to make sure that everything is level and spaced correctly since it is a symmetrical look. But I am using three different prints here. I'm focusing on one larger piece that's the focal point in the middle, and then I've got two of the same size on either side of the big print. So before hanging this first layout up on the wall, I've laid it out here on the floor to make sure that my prints go together and that I like the overall look. And then of course I am measuring to make sure this 
the spacing is correct as well. Kind of get an idea, of course, before I'm putting everything up on the wall. Next, I have cut craft paper in the exact same size as the frames that I'll be using. I'm going to use those to place them up on the wall using masking tape so I can quickly move it around if I need to adjust as needed. And then once I like how it all looks and I'm happy with the layout, I am ready to hang my prints. One of my favorite ways to hang any frame or artwork or anything on the wall, especially if I'm trying to avoid putting holes in the wall, is using these 3M command strips. These are specifically for hanging frames. It's kind of like a Velcro mechanism. Basically, you remove the sticky adhesive, put it on your frames, and then once you've put the Velcro parts together, you can remove the other adhesive and then place it on the wall, applying pressure for 30 seconds or so. Follow the instructions on the back <laughs> to make sure you do it correctly. Um, and then it's super simple you can just place it right on the wall they're very easy to change around and if in case you want to skip that paper and masking tape step you can easily just go straight to using these 3m command strips and then move them around if you need to adjust as well and there you have it the first layout it's a symmetrical three-piece layout and I love this one for a very classic simple look this will never go out of style it's very basic but also looks neat and polished and beautiful Let's take a quick minute to talk about this amazing art that I found. Like I said earlier in the video, I am working with Stockholm Art House for this video, and I also have a corresponding blog post with a ton more tips and details, um, so I will link that below. But basically, Stockholm Art House is an online art marketplace. They make it super simple to get online, browse through all of their amazing art. One thing I really love about them is they work directly with independent artists. So when you order from them, you are directly supporting an artist by buying their art art, but Stockholm Art House takes care of all of the professional framing and printing and it just looks really beautiful by the time it gets to you. It all comes packaged amazingly so the art and the frames are protected in shipping. By the way, they have free shipping which is amazing. And they also have a deal going on right now where if you buy two, you get one free so you can mix and match and kind of save there, which is especially nice if you're doing a gallery wall because the odds are you probably need a few prints. Stockholm Art House was founded by two brothers that believed everyone around the world should have access to affordable art. And I love that because I completely agree. So if you're looking for art for your gallery wall, I highly recommend Stockholm Art House. Check out the link in the description box for a curated sales page with all six of the prints I'll be using in today's video. Okay, layout number two. This is again using three prints, but this time I'm using one large piece, one medium, and then a smaller horizontal layout frame. Again, I'm laying them on the floor to kind of get an idea of where I want to position them. It's kind of creating a boxed look using three different prints. So it's not symmetrical necessarily, but it's still a very classic, easy layout to pull off on your own wall. For this layout, I'm using one of my favorite tools to use if I'm not afraid of putting holes in the wall, and that is these drywall hooks. The unique shape and design of these puts a tiny little hole in your wall, kind of like a nail hole, but you don't need a stud. Um, they can actually hold pretty heavy objects, which is great for these larger size frames. So you simply push it into the wall and then curve it around and then on the outside of the wall all you can see is this tiny little hook but on the other side of the wall it's got a secure placement in the drywall so that it's anchored down and you can have heavy frames hanging from them. To use these I am just measuring the distance between the two frame hooks on the back of the frame and then again measuring on the wall so that I can have my hooks the exact distance that I need to hang the print. I use these hooks all the time almost any time I'm hanging stuff that I don't mind having to put holes in the wall um, and so these are really really handy I will link them in the description box below this layout works really well if you have a lot of vertical space that you're working with and I recommend if you're using just three prints like this to try to choose an overall color theme across all three of your prints so you can see in these exact artworks that I've chosen here they all have a neutral warm tone um, a little bit of pastels and then a couple pops of the darker color as well Okay, on to the third and final layout. 
This is my version of an eclectic gallery wall. I know some of you might not think that this is eclectic at all. <laughs> Maybe something I should say is an asymmetrical look. So this one might be my favorite one because I'm able to use all six of my prints. I've got the two larger pieces and then all three of my medium size. And then I'm also able to incorporate the small horizontal print with the cute little ballerina girls. So again, I'm starting out by laying everything out on the floor so I can get a good idea of what print I want where, making sure my layout is exactly how I want it. And then a tip I have for you when you're using a layout with a lot of different frames and prints is once you have it laid out on the floor to use masking tape to create a sort of box or border around your entire grouping. This way you can easily measure in between your borders up and down and across and then simply transition the tape onto the wall and making sure everything is centered and see exactly where you need to fit your frames in side the border. This helps you to get the spacing exactly right and make sure everything is centered. So then once you have the tape on the wall, you can put in your pieces that line right up with the tape on the outside and then work your way towards the center. An easy way to make sure you know exactly where to put the holes in the wall if you're using a nail or a drill and screw, even these drywall hooks, is to put a piece of masking tape across the back of your frame over where the hooks are. And then you're gonna place a mark right on the tape over where the hooks on the frame are. So you just mark each of those and then you can take the tape, transfer it to the wall, and then you know exactly where to put the holes in the wall. From there, you can finish hanging up all of your frames and your eclectic or asymmetrical gallery wall is complete. All right, you guys, there you have it. Three different gallery wall layouts that will look good on any blank wall in your home. Remember, you can grab the free download of each of these layouts, a printable that I created, so you can print them out at home and recreate this look on your wall. So I will have the link down below to grab your free download, as well as the link for the special sales page that has all six of these prints from Stockholm Art House that I have personally curated for you in this video. I also have a written blog post with all of these tips and more frequently asked questions, so make sure and check that out for even more details on these gallery wall looks. Thanks again to Stockholm Art House for sponsoring this video. If you want to recreate any of these looks, check out the sales page link below and grab some art from their website. I highly recommend it. They are amazing. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Let me know in the comments which of the three layouts was your favorite. Of course, subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in the next video.